I'll be joined by Lizzie Hewitt, Don't. who is a Leicestershire Don't. artist. Don't. She's bringing both colour and joy to the walls of the rich and famous. And not so rich and famous. Have you got so, one of those as well, then? No, no don't be silly. Rich and famous, I said. Didn't you know, I've got an itch on the enemy nose. Isn't it annoying when you get that? Don't you find that? Any road up, all of that has nothing to do with the price of fish or my first guest. They say that the thing of beauty is a joy forever, and that's certainly true so far as painting is for instance, just take that as an example. And my first guest is responsible for some really thought-provoking images with her unique style of painting. Leicester-based Liz Hewitt's style has been described as joyous and colourful. And if you take a quick look at our Facebook page now, that's facebook.com slash BBC Leicester, you'll be able to see exactly what is meant by that. Over the past ten years or so, her whimsical artworks have become increasingly popular and collectible. So let's meet her now. Lizzie, good morning to you, and thank you so much indeed for coming in. Uh, you and I first met, uh, I think it was just before Christmas at Dimoff University, did we not? Yes, that's right, yes we did. And I was hosting the Greener Leicester Awards. Now, you were there not as an artist, but as a photographer. Yes, that's what I, I, I do. Um, one of my main, um, um, that's my main sort of income, getting um, doing photographs for the Leicester Mercury and um, PR companies. So, yeah, we were there taking your photo. So that's, that's your daytime job, but I'm intrigued by the artistry side of you. Tell me about your background. How did all this come about? Well, um, I trained at um, um, Derby University, and um, basically I was doing... Um, I really wanted to be a, um, a book illustrator, and so while I was doing all my photography work, um, I worked for the Esther Mercury and I was do, doing all that in the, at the daytime. I would, I would kind of do sketches and um, send, send work off to publishers and, you know, kind of keep going. And I had a, a friend who was really like my artwork who I met up with and um, she really pushed me to, to get out there and start selling. Um, so that was really, you know, kind of... Oh, sort of. Did this evolve from, from your earliest childhood recollections? You know, was it, was it as a little girl you used to sit there and draw? Because most kids do, don't they? Yeah, I think I, I, I won a prize. Um, I think it was some, uh, uh, something really prestigious, like a Japanese prize somewhere. And I remember going on a bus to this um, to this big hall with lots of kids there, and I was one of the kids, and I, and I won some sort of pastels. And I, n I really don't know kind of what... <laughs> what it was now because it's such a long time but um did you not keep that for the <laughs> painting I don't even know what it is <laughs> no oh. but I, I've got, still got the pastels though I've still got right. the pastels and I use some of those so that's cool <laughs> and so it's evolved and now it's sort of turning into a profession well I say turning into you are selling your stuff aren't you so yes. you could say it is a profession yeah yeah definitely um yeah a lot of people are really um liking and it's just kind of gone from strength to strength really just kind of selling one somebody seeing something um i was selling something to barry stephen um, um a hairdresser who i was doing a picture for for the murphy or something and and then um i just happened to have a sketchbook with me and that was in indie salon and he says oh you know when you've done that painting um you know come and show me and have a look at it so i was just in town you know with this big sort of portfolio going into indie salon and saying, oh, yeah, this is, this is Barry's, you like it, whatever. And he was like, yeah, look at it, um, can you do one for me sort of thing? And so, you know, one person had it and then another and it was just kind of, yeah, people really like it. It was, which is great, which is really great. And um, Well, that's the very picture that I put on our Facebook page. Yeah, if you want to have a look now, <laughs> yeah, facebook.com <laughs> slash BBC Leicester. And uh, not only that, you've done a, at least one other uh, Leicester business here, uh, Allendale Road, Francis Street, Knightsbridge. Uh, talk to me uh, about that, because your, your works are quite big as well. They're very large works of art, aren't they? <laughs> this one is 74.5 by 56 centimetres, which makes it one way, the best part of about two and a half, three feet. Yeah, it is actually. It's I mean, a big one. Yeah, <laughs> I get the roll carriage bushes and sort of go for it. Yeah, I do actually go for it. I'm a bit like that, the, um, what's that film? It's an artist and I just go kind of crazy in an artist sort of kind of way, yeah. How would you describe your style? It's been described as joyous and colourful. It's certainly both of those things, and it puts a smile on your face just looking at your pictures, I would Yeah, um, I think I like, I like to bring sort of 
um, beauty into the world. You're talking about beautiful images and sketches of people um, and, um, you know, make people look sort of beautiful. And um, and also, obviously, it's, it, I mean, that sounds a little bit pretentious, but um, um, the other flip side of that, it's, always, it's also fun, amusing and comic. And so it's got that kind of... Um, uniqueness about it that um, I think that makes it stand out from your sort of humdrum um, well that sounds a little bit awful saying humdrum but um, <laughs> otherwise well, drab well, yeah. I'll put sometimes, the words yeah, but sometimes you see in galleries sometimes you see in galleries um, similar sort of works where you know you sort of see representational um, pictures of of things and I, I think there's no real point in in doing that I mean if you've got um if you're doing art you know do something different make a statement because you might as well just get a camera out and take a photo I mean it, it doesn't seem kind of the, the, these these, these <laughs> compositions are very personal to the people that you you're painting for as well I'm looking at yeah. one now of uh, BBC's Midlands Today television presenter Anne Davis yeah yeah and uh, you've done one of her and oh, her she's really lovely Anne. I, I, um, I, I, I you really like Anne? Anne? I wrote Anne, yes. She's mm. a lovely person. No, really? Yes, I do. Are we I talking do. about the same Anne Davis? <laughs> 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 you've I been only in so many friends, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah. I um, do like Anne, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we did her in something very unusual. Um, uh, a feather, a skirt. I wasn't sure about this skirt for, for, for a long time, what I was going to kind of do, but... Um, uh, what I liked about Anne was that um, she was uh, she appeared like a bit of a rock chip because <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Because actually, she's probably listening this morning. <laughs> morning, Annie. <laughs> On the first visit to her, she showed me that of her, her tattoo that she had, and I thought, great, this is going to be cool. Now I can sort of go crazy with this one, and uh, so that's why I chose those sort of you know. Even I didn't know so. Anne Davies has a tattoo. I know she showed me her tattoo. Really. Mm. Mm. I think we better leave that there, don't you? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I probably am attracted to your artwork because it's very reminiscent of the swinging 60s, especially the sort of mid to late 60s when we were in the area of psychedelia, yeah? Yeah, I think, I think everyone just loves the 60s and, and I think that the 60s, everything comes from the 60s. I mean, I suppose it, it, this, this is told like loads and loads of times. But, um, you know, it bands from, you know, music and, um, you know, like our Oasis and things like that will c come from the, that, that music, you know, influenced by that music and... Um, and all your stuff's in watercolour, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's painted more like um, acrylics or oil paints because, as I said before, I really do sort of slap it on and... Um, yeah, it's more sort of um, stronger colour, like Van Gogh. I'm very influenced by yeah. um, artists like Van Gogh and Chagall. Very vivid terms, it really is. Um, the big question, I suppose, <laughs> is how much your work costs. Well... I bet it doesn't come cheap, does it? No, it's kind of the four-figure sum. Really? Yes. <laughs> but that's because, obviously, of the uniqueness and um i mean the the paintings take me around you know sort of a, a couple of months if i'm just you know just basically getting the materials in talking to the people finding out what they uh they want and then i've got to obviously create a, um sort of cartoony style images of them so i've got to sort of take a realistic version of them then make that into sort of cartoon then i'll use a bit of I'll be looking at fashion illustration, um, people like um, street artists. I'm really keen on uh, Miss Van um, and Japanese illustration like Tezuka, who did Astro Boy. Um, also like the, the toy market and um, um, sort of. So I'm, I'm taking all these sort of influences and obviously the 60s and the colour of... Um, like um, stage shows, um, Scissor Sisters. I've used a lot of pinks and purples. Oh, and this is very bored. <laughs> it's a lot of. Uh, yeah. It's a lot goes on behind what what you see. It's it's um, it's you know I'm always looking at 
black and white photos um, and I love the style of like um, Marianne Faithful and um, Anita Pallenberg and wow. and I'll be going back to that sort of thing you and know you're 60s stuff, don't you? You really do. <laughs> you'll see things like in, in the indie you'll see things like I watched I saw The Factory Girl with Sienna Miller mm -hmm. and I went there and I got rushed back home and I got a sketchbook out and I was like sketching this sort of fur coat that um, she was wearing, as Eddie Sedwick, who's another one of my influences. But um, Have you seen the Beatles' Yellow Submarine film? I have actually seen the artwork for that in Liverpool, actually. It's amazing. But I haven't actually have seen, the, seen film. the film. So I, I should get that, shouldn't I? You should get that. <laughs> it's, it's out on DVD. <laughs> right, okay. You can get it in I'm any high street store. Now. Uh, but do check it out. To the pub. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I remember seeing it when it was first released on the big cinema screens. Okay. And it just knocks your eyeballs out. Really? And your work sort of is reminiscent of the, that sort of psychedelia. The colours, isn't the it? The colours, absolutely yeah. vivid, brilliant. Yeah. You have a website, don't you, Lizzie Hewitt? Yes, I do. Yeah, well, we've been working on a blog site, and um, yes, it's... Uh, can I say what it is? You can. I can. Good. Um, it's www.lizziepix, which is L-I-Z-Z-Y-P-I-X dot com, and you can find everything on there relating to me, so you can really sort of delve in and see what I'm like and um, also all the prices and the fees and everything is on that too we'll check it all out so we wish you the very best of luck you could do with an exhibition of your work couldn't you I know I'm hoping you're going to sort of sort maybe sort of point me in the it. right direction leave it with me we'll see what we can do <gasps> that sounds exciting all the very best <laughs> BBC Radio Lefer.